Hello and welcome to round two of Marbula E, brought to you by Envision Virgin Racing and Yelly's Marbles. This is the Soul M Prix. My name is Jack Nichols, and alongside me, you'll be delighted to know, is the voice of Marble Racing. It's the one and only Greg Woods. Hello, Greg. Hello, and look at this crowd. That is incredible. Absolutely huge crowd for this one in what would have been the Korean capital. But here we're looking at the championship standings coming into this race. Mercedes-Benz EQ on the top of the standings. Rocket Venturi Racing in second place. Envision Virgin Racing pointless after the first race. And this is how the qualifying session is going to work. This will be the order that they're going out with. We're going to start with BMW i Andretti Motorsport. It'll be a one-shot qualifying session. They'll all get one lap of the track. The quickest will start from pole position, and it's as simple as that. We've seen BMW, they're going to be leading things off here. They were the highest place gainer out of all of the marbles in that first race. Picked up seven spots over the course of that M Prix. I'll be interested to see what they can do from here, especially if they can start from a good position rather than starting all the way back in 10th. Well, this is going to be the benchmark time that they will set as they come towards the final sequence of corners and out across the line and 19.13 then that seems a decent lap time to start off with it's always difficult to tell how these tracks evolve over time some of them are quick from the get-go but also the competitors having a time to shoot for may give them a little bit of something extra in the tank as well as we see venturi another one that did start well in the last race only lost one spot but that was going from pole back to second Across the line come Rocket Venturi Racing and they're a little bit of drift then of BMW. Neo 333 next up as they enter this huge recreation of what was the Olympic Stadium in uh, Seoul. But now having been replaced with the Marbula E event and they're up by six hundredths in Sector 1. Across the line now where will Neo slot in the grand scheme of things? Provisional pole position, good run that. Absolutely great run. Very different sectors that we see also in this track. From the speed up top, you get the twisty bit in the middle and then that short little chicane at the end could make or break a couple of lap times here. Yeah, and especially come the race, I think that final little chicane is going to be very, very chaotic. We're watching Audi now coming into the final couple of corners. Eighth in the first round across the line and they slot into third position. So very much middle of the grid, I think, that lap. Dragon with a run right now. They were ones that picked up three spots in the last Grand Prix, starting in seventh and moving all the way up to fourth, but needing to pick up a little bit of time here. Yeah, three tenths of a second away in the first half of the lap. Dragon come out and across the line. Whoa, where did that second half of the lap come from? Provisional pole position. Mercedes, our winner from the last M Prix, started in second in that one. It was an interesting race for so many of these marbles, a lot of gaining and, lo and losing positions, but they stayed up at the front the whole time. And here, needing also to pick up a little bit of time, but we see that it can be gained in the second sector. Not so much this time. A little bit disappointing then for the championship leaders, Mercedes, who slotted to fourth place. Twelve teams to come, all from the real-life Formula E championship and this is nissan they're through the stadium section out towards this 90 degree right hander down towards the final sequence and nissan slot into fourth place a solid run there audi and venturi dropping further back nissan one of four runners also that picked up no spots in the race they finished exactly where they started and as a competitor that's got to be a little bit frustrating i would think Eight tenths of a second away in sector one as well. So I don't think this is going to be a great run for DS to cheetah in front of the pit buildings across the line. It got him into fourth place. So they're finding time in the second half of the run again. Envision Virgin Racing, who bring you this Marbula E series, had a horrible time in the first round. They've got to do better here, surely. Horrible is the very definition of it. Starting 12th and finishing 12th. One of those four again. <laughs> but uh, hey, they're, they're not too far off here. What can they do in the final sector? Envision Virgin racing across the line, and that's fifth. That's much more reasonable from the uh, from the team. Three more marbles to run. This is Mahindra. I think Envision will be happy with that. Mahindra, solidly middle of the pack in the last race. Sixth to seventh. Not much more you can say with that. They did have a couple of looks up front. Half a second off already in the first part of the track. A couple corners to go, though. 
across the line and that's fifth place solid run for Mahindra Venturi dropping further and further towards the rear here come Panasonic Jaguar racing now into the stadium section their battle in the last race with Envision for last place basically they, they finished in 11th after starting in 11th and already slow off the pace here They'll be hoping to avoid the wooden spoon today. Do you give marbles a wooden spoon? I'm not sure. Jaguar going to eighth spot, so Venturi and Audi have dropped right to the back. One more marble to run, and this is Tag Heuer Porsche. That looked pretty neat, actually, through the first couple of corners into the stadium section now, and at the first split, how far away are they going to be from Dragon? Oh, one Ooh. and a half seconds, that's big. It really shows you that just because it looks smooth, small little changes can make a huge difference, whether it's a nudge off the wall or a bump off the curb. And it's only 11th for Porsche. So let's take a look at the results after qualifying then. It is pole position for the Seoul M Prix for Dragon. They are just a tenth of a second ahead of Neo 333. BMW in third. Championship leaders Mercedes-Benz down in ninth place. Second in the championship, Rocket, are in 12th. The stands are full. They're looking forward to this five and a half minute plus one lap race. They're all lined up, ready for round two of Marbula E. And we go rolling in Seoul, and it's not a good start at all for the pole sitter. BMW immediately out in front, and a Mercedes have made a bit of ground up there off the start. Dragon made a terrible start coming off the gate. You have to wonder if that long hold maybe messed them up a little bit psychologically with their timing. Down to the chicane and out to the end of lap one, and I think BMW just lost the lead as they climb up the uh, ramp, and it was Mahindra now who have emerged in front. BMW second, Mercedes running in fifth place, Dragon all the way back in 12th spot at the moment. The battle for second, though, sees Neo back up in front of BMW, but not for much longer. BMW back into second. We saw in the last race so many times that BMW had some slow starts and slow start to the race overall, but they really picked it up in the middle stint and got faster as it went along. I'll be interested to see if that happens again today. Mahindra were fairly anonymous in the first round of the season. They had a seventh place finish and never really fought towards the front, but they're pulling out quite a healthy margin here. Envision Virgin Racing are up to sixth place, which is good news for them after their horrible opening round at the Paris M Prix. But another lap down, and Mahindra look pretty comfortable out in front. Also, our pole sitter Dragon all the way in last. Nissan also falling down from seventh place to 11th. Venturi recovering after a poor run in qualifying. The second place team in the championship are in front of their title rivals Mercedes. But look at BMW coming right back for the lead with Mahindra as they come towards the final couple of corners. Can they end the lap in front? Whoa, that was a very decisive block from the Mahindra marble there. And a hard nudge off the exit of that chicane. And look at Nissan and look at Neo. They've moved up and they fall back as well. Porsche with some speed, especially in the later sections as well. And now that means Porsche are into the lead then, ahead of Mahindra in second, Neo third. Neo now up into second place and trying to fight with Porsche for the front. So all of a sudden Mahindra looked comfortable and confident out in front. They've dropped back to fourth place because they've just been pipped, I think, by uh, BMW and Mercedes. So it's actually fifth now for Mahindra. Mercedes climb up to second, which is good news for their championship. Absolutely. They are in a great spot. They can now see Porsche up in front of them and are trying to track them down. I'll tell you one thing also that really struck me with Neo is last race, great launches coming off of the conveyor belt. They were so good at it as Mercedes challenging now for the lead. They can't get them, but they do on the exit of the chicane. Wow, what a fight between these two giant German marbles coming through turns one and two down towards the stadium section and Jaguar out of nowhere fire into the lead. They have stayed there throughout the race just stalking and making the moves when they see them. Very opportunistic and that was a fantastic overtake. Another lap down. Oh, oh, the conveyor belt. It didn't go well for Jaguar and Mercedes. The championship leaders out in front again. And coming off the belt, Jaguar makes a good recovery back up into second place, trying to track down Mercedes in the far corners of the course. We're trialing some driver's eye with the uh, Marbula E series. And that was a look on board with Jaguar. Great to be on board with them on this circuit. Trouble getting onto the belt. It's going to be neck and neck with Jaguar coming off of it. And Jaguar out in front, but Mercedes get the cutback coming out of turns one and two. It's a great fight for the lead. Audi and Nissan have 
dropped out of the points at the moment, but Mercedes holding on just in front of Jaguar. But here come Porsche to try and ruin the party. Porsche have been getting fed up with the little train developing behind them and finally got away from them and are making a move onto the belt. I think they've gotten by Mercedes. Wow, what a move. So it's Mahindra who all of a sudden find themselves out in front again, battling with Porsche for the lead. Jaguar third, Mercedes fourth. It's very much these top four at the moment, gapping Neo and Venturi in fifth and sixth. Envision, after starting well, have dropped down into ninth spot. But it's absolutely neck and neck for the lead onto the conveyor belt, and they're going to be right together coming off this time. Who gets the better jump across the line to start the next lap? And it will be Porsche. One minute 15 plus one lap to go. Porsche and Mahindra battling for the lead of the race. Mahindra finished seventh in race one. Porsche finished tenth, so this could do their title chances the world of good. Jaguar have gotten by Mercedes, and could they mount another challenge to look at the top spots? They're going to be neck and neck with the Mercedes coming off the belt. Porsche still out in front. And look at that. Great move for second place. Mahindra holding it at the moment ahead of Mercedes. Over 400,000 people watched our Marbella E season opener. Thank you very much for joining us here for the second round of Marbella E. This is the Soul M Prix. Oh, that wasn't neat onto the conveyor belt for Mercedes. It's always walking a fine line of how much speed versus how much precision do you need. We see a lot of competitors riding the curbs all the way around through that first sector to try to build up some more speed into the middle part of the course. Two for the lead. Oh, oh. Mahindra! That's gone horribly wrong for the race leaders. Everything was looking so comfortable, but now they've dropped down into fourth position. You can just imagine Dilbag Gill watching this, watching a lead slip away. He'll be so disappointed. One more lap to go after this as you see the clock counts down to zero. Their time is limited for how much they have left to compete. They've got to make their moves now. Porsche out in front as they come down to start the final lap of the race. Jaguar second, Mercedes third, Mahindra fourth, Neo fifth as they come onto the conveyor belt for the final time. There are Porsche out in front, but oh, not for long. Jaguar take them on the final lap. What a resurgent move right there after finishing second to last in the previous M Prix. They've got a great shot at victory here if they can keep the speed up and keep it off the walls. Is this going to be the first points of the year for Jaguar with a victory through the final corner? And it's Jaguar who win the Seoul M Prix. Porsche across the line in second. Mercedes hold on to their championship advantage in third. Mahindra fourth, Neo fifth, Venturi, Tachita, Audi, Dragon, BMW the top ten, Nissan in eleventh, and I'm sorry to say, Envision Virgin Racing once again across the line in last position. Here's a look at the results after 15 laps of racing, three tenths of a second between Panasonic Jaguar Racing and Tagoya Porsche at the top there, three seconds back to Mercedes but a horrible time for Envision. Mercedes looking really strong, you have to say, Greg, as far as the championship is concerned. They, they really have. They've been the paradigm of consistency overall. But how about our top two in this one? The top two started in 8th and 11th, respectively. That's pretty impressive. So the podium celebrations underway. Jaguar with perhaps their biggest win as a motorsport manufacturer. Greg, what a race. That was fantastic. To all the changes up front, the back and forth. We saw the speed build up over the course of the race, and it just shows with some of those moments on the curbs, a single mistake can make all the difference. We'll see you next time for the next Marbula E-Prix.